Before today's video, we have a short little message for you guys. We've just come back from a massive holiday. But even though it was a holiday, we still filmed, obviously. Of course we did. Obviously we filmed. And we hung out every day because obviously we do that. As well. <laughs> We're always together. <laughs> anyway, this holiday was in Australia and we have some great content coming up from Australia. So stay tuned. So I hope you enjoy. Enjoy today's video. Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Ollie. I'm Andy. And today we're going to be trying jolly fish and chips. <laughs> I was trying to work out what jolly and Andy would be. Oh, Jandy. That just cuts me out of the equation yeah, completely. Yeah, I'm okay with that. It's fine. <laughs> we're in Australia, and yeah, you, you've joined us out here. I have. You having a good time? Yeah, I was until the sun went in pretty much as soon as I arrived. I know. <laughs> it's like as soon as we decide to film a fish and chips episode, they're like, English weather. Well, maybe that's why we're feeling the fish and chips. It's Maybe. just, it feels yeah, like hope. It feels like hope. Yeah, yeah. That's true. And it does feel we're kind of traitors. It's our national dish and we <laughs> come here. From my experience at least, fish and chips in New Zealand and Australia is way better than in the UK. Also, I don't like trying new things. Way better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. Let's do it, shall we? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. This is apparently the best local fish and chips in Australia and I'm excited. It looks legit. It looks amazing. All righty. Hokey, what is hokey? Maybe that's like a local fish. The hokey pokey. This is not the hokey pokey. What's your like most popular Chicken the chicken burger is the most popular thing. Oh. It's a fish and chip shop. Wow. Well, we should get one chicken burger then. I didn't Plot see that twist. coming. Whoa, deep fried Just last seen it. All right, thank, thank you. you very much. Oh, baby, there's a reason it's famous. We got fish burger, chicken burger, grilled hooky. Never heard of that fish, but I'm up for it. Battered hooky and a battered hake and a deep fried Mars bar. See, this is the reason why I go to the gym five times a week. I'm still a little bit overweight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is the reason I'm about to start off. going to the gym tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that fish. That it looks really looks good. looks amazing. Lovely, thank you. Oh yeah, we have a grilled one. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Thank you. See you guys, enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh wow. my gosh. You may have noticed I have like a kilogram of chips. That me. would kill me. No. <laughs> well, you don't have to have just chips by the To stop eating them, we haven't even flipping egg. That's so good. You're though. allergic. He, you know what their problem is? I'm Everyone at home, no one understands it. A couple of chips and he'll actually be fine. The tipping point is very soon after that. It's about so it's now. Right, how about now. now he needs chip. to stop, but once he's started, it's almost impossible to stop. But no? Okay, this, Ollie, this is chicken salt. What is chicken salt? <laughs> I have no idea, <laughs> but apparently... Like salt collected by a chicken. No. <laughs> what? Apparently it's a thing here in Australia. It's like a really classic Australian thing. You get chips with chicken salt. So I'm going to go half guess. chicken. Whoa, it's yellow. Maybe it's like chicken flavored salt. All right, let's give it a go. Give it a taste. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's better than normal. That salt. is so good. Chicken salt is better than human salt. Yeah, <laughs> human salt. <laughs> Next up, we got that grilled hooky. Whoa, look at that chunk of meat. There's many herbs. In England, I feel like what we flavor our fish with is literally just pouring on salt and vinegar. Well, you probably could get this in England, but not in a fish and chip shop. No, you, no. Get, you get it in a, in a, restaurant. a restaurant. Okay. Mm. There's oh, a lot of flavors going man. on. Mm. Like a bit of tomato. That is a good, right, right. healthy option. A bit of lemon, that's all it needs. Oh, I would come to fish and chip shops regularly. It tastes delicious, but it doesn't feel like you're killing your body. Do you know what I mean? Because that's what fish and chips does. You feel like you're dying slowly. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. That is good. The meat is just so tender. All right, next up. We still got lots more to try. Two more types of fish. Fish and chips. We've got to have the fish. It's really golden. Yeah, it's, it's the golden nugget. Golden. Very golden. Oh, and you this. Me in the eye. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, stop it. <laughs> Guys, look oh, at wow. that. That Incredible. batter is so soft and smooth. Good. Yeah, mm. it's amazing. Wow. Mm. The batter's cr like crispy, crunchy it's on the like outside. It's smooth but crunchy at the same time. Super soft on I don't the know inside. How they've done that. This is what fish and chips is supposed to taste like. It's not drowning in grease. You fry it. But it's not soggy. I feel like this in England, this would be like gourmet fish and chips. Next up, we have hake. Do you guys mind if I break this in half with my hands? Go for it. I really have an urge to I do that. Oh. oh, wow, that looks good. Oh. Look at that fish meat. It's just so. That looks thick. so fresh. So meaty. 
It literally looks like it just swam up a tube out of the sea and straight into the fire. Right. It's like finding Nemo too many times. <laughs> <laughs> we found Nemo. Yeah. And he is yummy. This is the sad alternative ending. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh my That's God. more meaty. The meat is even softer. Yeah, it's like, it's. yeah, you're right. It's chunkier. Can I just say as well, the chicken salt chips go so well with the fish. Chicken and fish, mm, wow. you don't normally have them together, mm. right? I guess chicken not. Chicken and chip, no. But we're about to, we're about to have a chicken burger. Oh, yeah. No, chicken yeah. burger with chicken salt chips, that's gonna be amazing. So this is the chicken burger, which is apparently what this place is most famous for, even as a fish shop. I'm excited. Oh, oh. look at that. Oh Whoa. my gosh. That looks so good. That looks incredible. It's like a painting of a burger. <laughs> Dude. It's like all the colors are perfect. Seriously, it's like they photoshopped it and up the saturation. Yeah, like hashtag filter. Look at that chicken fillet at the top there. Yeah. Wow. And then here. Oh. 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 That fish fillet burger. All right, let's do I'm it. I'm going in. Chicken Tell burger. Tell us what you think, Andy. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. I yeah, mean, I, I kind of expected you to say that. Mm. Yeah, but it's like chicken really soft, succulent, and there's something a little bit spicy. Oh. There. I don't know what it is, right. but it's really good. Can I just say, normally, yeah, if someone is like a fish and chip specialty, you don't go in and order a chicken burger. You can't do two things that well. Mm -hmm. Australia, well played. Yeah. The fish is incredible. I'm convinced. The chicken burger is incredible. The fish burger surely is going to be incredible. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. I think this is even better than chicken. Fish burgers, don't go there. Normally, yeah, I in any other situation, someone offers you a fish burger, you ask if they're crazy. It's fresh fish that's like lightly breaded, I think. Mm. Yeah, it's lightly breaded. Instead of battered. But then whatever else they've put in here is really good as well. Yeah, all the, the sauce works perfectly with the sauce. London. London. Wow, Wait, okay. what did she say? She yeah. said, welcome, you're at the best shop. Wait, so this fish and chip shop is so good that random strangers drive by and literally congratulate you on your choice. <laughs> literally. Wow. All right, guys, there's one more thing. What? Did we order oh, anything else? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, no, this is the main event. I'm ready for this. And I'm not going to lie, it looks amazing. like a deep fried turd. Oh. oh. <laughs> Okay, uh, Ollie, rewind. We need some explanation here. This isn't a normal thing to appear on a restaurant menu. Yeah. What is in Scotland? This is a Scottish thing. Explain to us, Andy. If you go to a lot of fish and chip shops in Scotland, you can basically take something in and they will deep fry it for you. Really? Yeah. And out of that came the deep fried Mars bar. Some genius was like, can you deep fry this? And they were like, okay. So now they sell deep fried Mars bars. And now bars this is a thing that's slowly spreading in around the world. shops. Oh <laughs> Surely it's gonna be hot. Oh. oh. Look at that! What? That looks incredible. Is it really hot inside? Yeah. Is it like molten lava? Yeah. That. I'm excited looks for this. Amazing. All right, Andy, go on. Ah. Is it really hot? Oh, mm, look at that. We can't get around the fact it looks unbelievably disgusting. Yeah, but it tastes pretty good, actually. The sweet and the savory is like the perfect mixture. It's sugar and fat. I mean, it's basically ice cream. That is literally a deep fried Mars bar. I don't even know if you have Mars bars where you live in the world. Basically a Snickers without the nuts yeah. and a little bit of nougat. <coughs> that is something mm. else. I would die an early death if I lived in Australia. Or Scotland. Seriously. I would come here at least once a week. This place was full of people on their lunch break, wasn't it? Yeah. And I think if I worked near here, that would be me. You could start quite a successful business as a <laughs> doctor there. <laughs> right next door. <laughs> Just give people checkups. And be like, oh my gosh, we need to do a lot of work. Keep going there, nice my business is gonna, you know. <laughs> it's going big. Keep, keep, huh? <laughs> the fish, you could tell was super fresh. Really I don't know what they're surprise. doing with the batter, but it's not damp with grease at no. all. You know what? It's similar to Korean chicken in that way. Mm. And, it's, it, mm. and we haven't solved it in the same way we haven't solved fried chicken in the UK either. That's so true. It's fried chicken in England and fried fish are fairly similar. They're just loaded with grease and a yeah. bit soggy. I feel like in England, you don't have to make an effort to make it good. It's just such a tradition. People just do it. Yeah, people you don't have to make it, it's not good. It yeah. will sell itself. Whereas here, I, I reckon it's less of a thing. It's, it's like Christmas songs. They're awful, yeah, they're but terrible. we listen to them anyway. You can write a half decent Christmas song, you make a load of money, because every year... Because everyone has to listen to songs at Christmas. Exactly. Yeah. All right, it's well, we've sold it. You've heard it here. Analogy. You've heard it here first. <laughs> English fish and chips <laughs> is basically a Christmas song of food. If you want uh, actually good songs, then come to Australia. This is the Mariah Carey of 
Wait, she wrote a Christmas song. Okay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Who right. Everyone's written We're a, a little bit high on fish oh. batter right about now. This has been a very, very jolly fish and chip meal. A very jandy Christmas meal. Oh, Christmas jandy, meal? Fish and chip say. meal. You I'm, might say. They cut me out. Yeah. They cut me out. There's no right. Ollie in any of that. All right, guys. We'll see you jolly soon. See you later. Okay, bye. Bye. bye.